Elizabeth, and I just wanted to talk to you about the Milkweed and Monarch Project. Over the summer, we'll see different episodes that cover different things. I'm hoping to raise some caterpillars on my porch and mesh cages. You'll get to see some of that later on and some stuff happening outside over the season from migration in to migration out. So thanks for watching. These are milkweed buds. Soon, flowers will bloom here. Milkweed never grows where you expect. <laughs> they really do come up in the most unexpected places. Milkweed also attracts a lot of bugs, such as earwigs and flies. There are over 100 different species of milkweed in the United States. In Michigan, we have 10 species, though there are three that are more dominant than others. Those are the common milkweed, swamp milkweed, and butterfly weed. These three are all present in my garden and other staff members' gardens, which you can see in these photos. Milkweed has a life cycle. The first year, it starts out from a seed and spends its time growing roots. It will be a small plant. The second year, it will become larger, and it will probably be a host for caterpillars. The third year, the plant will produce flowers, and the flowers will then produce seeds, which helps the plant spread and reproduce. So why milkweed? Butterflies and caterpillars require specific plants in order to grow from an egg into a caterpillar. Some caterpillars, like black swallowtails, can eat from multiple, what we call, host plants. The monarch butterfly needs milkweed as a host plant. It is the only plant that a monarch caterpillar can eat. Hi, welcome to my garden. I'm out here today with Ellie to talk about her garden and her milkweed. Um, we are surrounded by milkweed right now. There's all so <laughs> much. The previous owners of the house said that like every once in a while during the monarch migration, this is a landing spot. And when they looked, there were just like hundreds of thousands of monarchs like forming. One thing I love doing when I'm walking in the spring is looking for places where common milkweed has cropped up. It's so hardy that you will find it on roadsides and fields and gardens, even unusual places like in the middle of bricks on a path. Here's some right outside the Traverwood branch of the Ann Arbor District Library. In the late spring, if you look closely, you'll see that it's starting to flower. So keep an eye out for milkweed. You never know where it might crop up.